And in response to the announcement of an increase in flour prices by national flour mills, the Supermarket Association of Trinidad and Tobago said it has noted that trends in the industry leading up to the Christmas period have revealed a 5 to 10 percent decrease in sales, coupled with an average 25 percent increase in prices, thus painting a picture of static consumption patterns. The association said downtrading is also revealing patterns of brand loyalty abandonment, with customers seeking more avenues to stretch the value of their dollar. It said NFM, like any other commercial entity, has to operate within the confines of its operations, being able to manage its inputs, overheads, and so forth. SATT said the perfect storm alluded to in this is a conflagration of exigencies, including supply chain disruption, adverse yields, loss of cycles of production, decrease access to inputs and increase prices of raw materials. And TTT News sought to find out from the public their thoughts on the proposed price increase on flour. Many who we spoke to were concerned about the ripple effects this increase would have on byproducts of flour. National Flour Mills today announced that it will increase its wholesale price on flour between 15 to 22 percent. From January 3rd, consumers should expect to pay more for flour. We really can't. couldn't do anything about it because of the, uh, the, the pandemic situation and then the pricing prices of prices outside that's affecting us here. So it might be hard, yes, on the consumer because it's a basic need. And at the end of the day, everything flower based will go up. We had to go by, we had to go with the flow. If this is so, I can't do nothing about it. Well, it's one thing, it's one thing I was saying. Uh, that they shouldn't raise flour with this, with this, what going on here now with people. Mm -hmm. But to me, everything raised in and on, it was expected based on what going on. So the only, only thing I could see that could be changed is if people really try and stand up and make a difference and talk about it, but nobody not really doing it. So. I, I don't know what to say, my brother. I think what I'm telling you. It's real hard for, for, the, for the little black boy and black girl out here, you know what I'm That could be real hard on the people that train that at Tobago. Because everything expensive already, it will just get worse. If freight going up and handling charges and stuff going up, then obviously the cost of goods and services will definitely go up. So 